Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Malita and in today's video I'm gonna teach you guys how to glam up to take the best selfies to catfish people. I'm just kidding! But we're gonna do some little playing around with some with some makeup and do a little more of a glam transformation kind of thingy so if you are interested in how I catfish people online just split selfies keep on watching I'm kidding, don't catfish people, don't but watch my video well, let's get this started, shall we? The first thing we are gonna start out with is putting our hairs back and I have already moisturized so we're gonna go ahead and use our, our primer. This is the Prime Studio Glow Boosting Pore Minimizing Primer with Pink Clay by Essence. So we're gonna go ahead and put it all over our faces. an awesomely great foundation this is the makeup academy skin define matte perfect foundation with vitamin a in the shade ivory flush so it's quite a bright light shade by the way lately I have been obsessed with this beauty blender this is from echo tools I also have some brushes from them and I think I'm gonna invest in some more little stuff from them because they are all fucking awesome so then we're gonna go ahead and bring on our foundation Conceal with my new favorite with uh, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer and Contour in the shade C1. I have talked about it in the review of the product actually. This is my new favorite thingy. I I am obsessed with it. I also love the foundations, but the MUA one gives a little bit more of a coverage, which will be perfect for what we are trying to accomplish here. So then apply to, uh, uh, apply our concealer. Time we are going to contour with the Triangle Artist Contour Stick from Catrice Cosmetics in the shade Ashy Brown. An ashier color is perfect for my light, light, light skin. So we are not gonna go too extreme contouring, but you know, just enough to put everything together. So. with uh, the All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder and it is waterproof from Essence and I'm gonna use an Essence brush and just set the areas that I wanna set so that's mostly my under eye area I like to set it in between And now 
to keep everything completely perfectly flawless we're gonna use from w salon cosmetics banana dreams loose powder to set everything this is my favorite setting powder okay. so great in case you have any fallouts during your eyeshadow application and it is perfect to snatch your nosy Now we're gonna go ahead and do our brows to you know make them look a bit more snatched I have uh, still a little bit of semi-permanent brow tint on from makeup revolution I have a review of it I will link that down in the description box somewhere uh, but today we are just going to fill everything in with an eyebrow gel from Essence and a little brush. So the usual eyebrow routine that you have or I have. to create that perfect natural fluffy look that everyone likes I'm gonna use an eyebrow gel from Catrice you don't see it anymore because it's well loved just to brush everything up and make sure that everything stays in its place plus it gives some volume to your brows that it makes it look a tiny bit more natural go ahead and jump on to our eye eyes I'm gonna apply an eyeshadow primer on both of my eyelids this is from NYX HD studio photogenic uh, studio eyeshadow base something like that fucking long name I picked up the Makeup Revolution Flawless 4 uh, palette. It looks like this and it's dirty AF already because I touched it with my dirty hands. It has a bunch of shades, 32 shades. So here you guys can see. Beautiful. And we're gonna go ahead and play around with it a little bit. But I'm gonna you know create a nice try to create a nice classier look I had with a eyeshadow brush from Essence and I'm gonna jump into the shade what is the name of the shade um, Dahlia this is this beautiful shade and applied all over my eyelid just to set everything Now we're gonna get, grab an angled uh, crease brush from Essence again and you're gonna go ahead in a beautiful brown shade called Burn It, this, this one. smudging 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 brush and we're gonna go ahead into the shade which one should I use for this um, ouch yes ouch and 
just blend this part a little bit more together. And to smooth out the edges, I'm gonna go ahead with a Sunday and just smooth out this part a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab a concealer and cut that crease. we did that we're gonna go ahead and set it again with Dahlia just to top everything off we're gonna go ahead with uh, a very nice a uh, little bit more metallic shade palette whistle we're gonna do something awesome and we're gonna go ahead and use this beautiful goldenish shade it's called copy right so it's more like a copper shade uh, and it's a lip and eyeliner a metal art from essence metal art lip and eyeliner from essence the fuck is wrong with me? and now we're gonna go ahead and line this part in the crease with that an eyeliner I'm using an eyeliner this is my favorite and it's already like broken and everything but this is from um, Essence super precise eyeliner and then we're just gonna wing it so I always like to start with the wing and it is gonna be difficult if you already applied your lashes before I do recommend applying it when your eye makeup is done I don't know why I applied it before but hey who cares <laughs> So let's go and wing that bitch. I'm happy, like very happy, like wow, over the top happy. Now I'm gonna try out a mascara. This is for sensitive eyes from Catrice with argan oil and pantheol. Uh, it's a volumizing mascara and it's uh, perfect for sensitive eyes or contact lens wearing people, which I am. I don't know if you guys know, my eyes are really bad, so I'm wearing lenses. Not colored lenses, my eyes are naturally green and I think they are beautiful, but I am wearing so in case you didn't know <laughs> now it's time to remove all this powder so I go ahead and use the burn it shade which i used on my crease and just bring it down here Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a white liner. A 
apply a little mascara to the under eye lashes, lower lash line, the fork. Wow, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and bronze up a tiny little bit. For that, I have this beautiful palette from Makeup Revolution. It looks like this contouring, highlighting, and setting powders. I'm gonna use the middle part of the contouring shades because it's a little bit more ashy, and I'm gonna bronze up a tiny little bit with that. Okay, snatch that nose more or less I'm getting better at nose contouring I still can't get it straight but hey I'm working on it do you see this beauty here now we're gonna use that as a highlighter obviously so <laughs> Wow, awesome. A little bit on my cupid. And obviously a little on the chin. Now I need more blinding. I'm gonna go ahead with that white goldish highlighter. Just to, just to make sure that it's real, you know? favorite brushes this is the Estee Lauder color play blend on blush in the shades peaches and I'm gonna use an Estee Lauder brush brush to apply it so from Catrice a lip foundation in the shades can't you hear that super base so we're just gonna go ahead and line a little outline our lips but more or less continue your natural line This from I Heart Revolution. This is the Metallic Mermaid's lip from the shade Shell Phone. again everything so that's it for today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then what are you waiting for? Subscribe before you leave and hit that notification bell. Also, I'm going to be coming with a new video this Thursday for the Broke Beach series. And as I mentioned before, I will be uploading videos every Monday. I'm trying to upload tutorials 
every Thursday. Every Wednesday, they will, there will be health, fitness, dieting tips on my Facebook and there will be more workout videos and tips for working out as well on my Instagram page. And in case you didn't know yet, I have a total separate Instagram page for my makeup looks and this is melita.b.beauty. So feel free to follow me and there you can see most of the looks I have been working on. I am not completely a professional yet. As most of you know, I am attending school to become a professional makeup artist. I am done with the first part of the courses, so I am qualified to do basic makeup and just uh, basic skincare, but obviously I am not a professional yet, far from it. About today's look, I am actually surprised because it turned out great, although I did take my time with applying the eyeshadow. That's probably my biggest mistake with most of the looks I'm doing is that I'm I'm not really, how to say it, I'm not really taking my time with applying especially my eyeshadow. I like to just smudge it on and go and then I'm like, oh my god, why is my eyeshadow not pretty? So lately I have been taking more time, I have been sitting around and playing more with makeup without even recording it. So I would, uh, if you if you are interested in makeup or if you like my looks or you know you just, you just want to check it out what I'm all about, I do advise you to go check out my new Instagram page and I will see you guys. <laughs> I love you all.